All right, thank you for checking out the video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about breakfast sausage and how I make it. Breakfast sausage is like one of my favorite things with wild game. I, I feel like I never have enough. I always wish I would've had the butcher make more or I wish I would've made more. So in this round of uh, cow, got a cow elk in Wyoming last week. Uh, I'm gonna make as much as I can. I think I have probably six or seven pounds in the freezer already, and I just wanna share what, what, I, what I do with mine. Uh, really, there's so many recipes out there. My encouragement is just to try, try some and see what you think and tweak it to what you like. Uh, I did a small batch to start before I made a ton. You don't wanna get a ton of uh, meat where you make a ton of sausage and the flavor's not right, you don't like it, it's too salty or whatever. Try it on a small batch and then expand from there. Uh, on this, I'm gonna use some simple ingredients. We got sugar, cayenne pepper, regular pepper. This is called Dash Original uh, Seasoning Blend. Salt and some sage. Sage is expensive. This little bottle is $7.99. Uh, but it really helps with the flavor, gives it that zesty taste, and uh, I like it. So I'm just going to show you guys what I do. It's nothing fancy. I found this on Google. Uh, it's not a family recipe, so just, you know, go for it. So what I'm going to do, you can use brown sugar or uh, regular sugar. I'm going to do a tablespoon of that. This is going to make enough seasoning for two pounds. So dump that uh, one tablespoon in. The cayenne pepper depends on how much flavor you like. Um, I'm just gonna dump a decent amount. I like a little bit of spice. My kids might not, but that's okay. For pepper, just one teaspoon of pepper. Pretty easy. If I can fill this up, I'm gonna go to the other side. I've already made quite a bit, so I don't got a lot of pepper left. One teaspoon of that. I'm only doing one teaspoon of this seasoning. It has a ton of random stuff in there. Tastes good. Just gives it a little something else. One teaspoon. Um, two teaspoons of salt. Ooh, one. Two. Man, I'm gonna sneeze because the pepper's so strong. And sage. Two teaspoons of that. Doesn't have to be perfect. One, two, and that's it. Pretty simple. And uh, then what I do is I'm gonna get the meat, mix it in there, set up the grinder, grind it through. So what, what you wanna do when you're getting ready to grind meat, you wanna get the parts that the meat is gonna go through and put them in the freezer. You want them as cold as you can. It helps it not clog up. It helps it just smooth more, uh, move more efficiently. Um, this little Cabela's Deluxe Grinder. So, let's get some meat and throw it in there. All right, so I got the uh, seasoning right here. I'm gonna got the pork and the burger stuff that I'm gonna mix up. It doesn't have to be perfectly two pounds. Just mix it up. And basically just wanna get everything seasoned up. Mix this up first. Oof, strong. Just kinda get everything like kind of rolled in the seasoning so it's nice to spread when it grinds. I'm gonna put them over here inside the top of the grinder. I kind of do like 50-50 for a um, mix between the, the, the meat, basically the cow, and the sausage. Some people might do uh, maybe 25% pork versus the rest. Just depends on what you want to do. Still got a lot of seasoning. Still got a ways to go. All right, I'm gonna start this up. Uh, while I put it together, I didn't have it plugged in. I want to be extra safe. I also had the meat in the freezer for a little bit longer, uh, for a little bit before I got it all um, put in here. Colder the meat is, the better it's going to grind. And we're going to turn it on and let it grind. Okay. 
That might not be full two pounds. It's close. I'm going to put just a little bit more in. Doesn't have to be exact. Then I'm going to grind it one more time and it's going to be ready to go. All right, it's all ground up and ready to be packaged up. We ground it through the grinder twice. Uh, we use the smaller attachment, so it's like a little bit more fine. Um, you can always grind it three times if you want, but it's ready to package. I like to wrap it in like a Reynolds uh, freeze wrap, and then I like butcher paper. You can do Ziplocs. I've done Ziplocs before, freezer Ziplocs. That works fine, uh, but I think it lasts a little bit better with uh, some butcher paper and like a wrap. Try out making some sausage, buy some regular burger and pork and try these recipes out. Try your own recipe, go Google, uh, just try something and then if you, whatever you like, document it, remember it, and then use it when you get that, uh, that animal home. Uh, I'm pumped that I finally got a recipe that I like. I've tried it so many times and it's just like not, not strong enough or not what I, what I like. It doesn't compare to like what the butcher can do. Um, so. Try it out, find something good. Again, this cow I just shot, we put in some massive time, put in a lot of miles, and uh, very grateful to bring home uh, an elk. I'll be heading out to Arizona this weekend for deer with my dad. Hopefully we can get some more uh, wild game in the, in the house. Uh, so we're looking forward to that, but uh, follow along the adventures if you like these kind of videos. I do some of these review type videos. I also do a lot of hunting videos, just documenting uh, what, what it's like to hunt out there. Nothing cinematic or crazy or way out there. Just uh, I just want to capture the actual experience. So if you like that stuff, uh, follow the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Emma wrote that. Oh, oh, really? Wyoming elk sausage. Wow, cursive. Pretty good. That was good. Yep. It's not as hot. <laughs>